Okay, today I'm going to be doing a bit of a uh, show and tell here for trains. And I see my battery's dying quick, so I might just have to do it in two parts. This first one's on a book that was given to me by a fellow model railroader. The uh, Century of Model Trains. And I can't tell you what date it is because it's in Roman numerals. I never was good with my Roman numerals. But they have everything from the old key wind to early electrics clear up into the 70s. This book was uh, in, uh, it's talking about the trains. Uh, it's a about, oh, somewhere in the 70s, I'd say it is. <laughs> yeah, here's one maker, 1971. I'm not going to do too much showing because this book is copyrighted. So, <laughs> if you can, find yourself a copy of it and uh, enjoy. It's a good tabletop or coffee table style book. Mine has got some wear and tear of love and of uh, love and uh, looking through and use over the years. So, yeah. <laughs> the other part I'm going to be talking to you about, I might have to do on another video, is what I've got in that package there. I'm going to set that down like so and readjust here. I went to a, one of our local pawn shops and yes, I'm in my leathers. So hey, leathers and trains. <laughs> and picked up some HO scale track. They had these packages marked for $6.99 a piece. And I came out with a screaming deal. They marked it down to $11.83 with tax. So that's pretty good. It means it would have been over $12 plus tax for all the track that's in here. What's interesting is I even got this crossing section, but I didn't get the crossing gates. But that's all right. Some of the old railroad crossings didn't have crossing gates, and you had to cross at your own risk. <laughs> but this has got straight sections. It's got curve. And somebody bent the connection here, but there, there's the connection curve. Okay, cool. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, I'm a kid at heart. I'll set this up here on the book. And I figure with what's in these packages, I should have a full circuit. There's another straight section. Not a bad piece. And more curve track. But like I say, I should have a full circuit to be able to run a train on it. And it don't have the... Well, it does have tabs similar to the one that there. So this is basically lifelike track. So that's basically what that had was lifelike track. That might be the reason why they got rid of it and went to a different track. Hey, that went together easier than the other trackage. I should be able to get it together and not break any of the pieces. 
I know, famous last words. <laughs> there we go. Part of a curve put together there. But, like I say, uh, this should be interesting. I, I like that crossing section. <laughs> uh, I imagine I could get the gates for it or whatever. Or just leave it that way and put a stop sign in there. Railroad crossing. <laughs> uh, and uh, 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 oh, it came with quite a bit of track, and I'm gonna have to cut this short because the camera's just about ready to die. But. Yes, I'm wearing my leathers, and there, I, there's my ugly mug. Ah! Oh, you're going to scream, right? Well, if you like these kind of videos, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll share more of the model railroad hobby with you. That, that uh, I got lucky. That's about all they had there at that pawn shop was the track. They had some new sections of track as well, but I didn't buy that. Because this gave me more track for my money than buying the new sections. Well, I'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.